You know what makes reaching your goals that much harder? Your food not tasting good. So that's what I'm here to help you out with. Here are five tips to ensure that you do not have dry proteins when you cook them. I know when it comes to meal prep, it can be very difficult and defeating, especially if you go and you make your food and it doesn't taste good. So I'm gonna help with that a little bit. Number one is going to be setting out the meat beforehand. You wanna get it down to room temperature. Now you don't want it to be warm to the touch by any means, but anything outside of the fridge is gonna be helpful, whether it's for 10 minutes or for a couple of hours, getting it to a more room temperature feeling is gonna be a lot better for it. The other thing here is making sure that you're not throwing it on a hot pan. This is what I see a lot of the times is they heat the pan up super hot, they're taking it out of the cold fridge, throwing it down, you hear this big sizzle, and then it ends up drying the meat out or not cooking it all the way through. So one side is pretty dry and the other side is uncooked. It makes for a difficult time when you're cooking that meat. The next tip here is going to be making sure that your pan is big enough. So this is something that I get it, you want to get it done and you don't want to be in there for too long, but it is the sort of thing that you want to ensure that you have enough space in your pan for everything to cook evenly. So I like to make sure that I really only have one pound of meat per pan, unless it's a bigger pan, then I can fit two pounds of meat in there. And then number four is going to be using a meat masher to mash it all up. This is going to be super duper helpful again just to distribute the meat evenly on the pan and to make sure every single piece gets cooked and making sure that it is not unevenly cooked. And then number five is going to be once you take it off the pan of letting it cool down before you put a lid on it and before you put it in the fridge. Because if you do the opposite of these things, like I said, taking it straight from the fridge, putting it in a hot pan and putting it in a pan that's too small or too much meat in a normal size pan, taking it off, putting the lid on and putting it straight in the fridge, it is going to be extremely dry because when you put that lid on right after you've cooked it, it is gonna put it in a spot that it's gonna to continue to cook and then you're also putting it in a cold environment in the fridge so it's still cooking and it's cooling down you've already overcooked it and made it dry so that is a recipe for disaster so if you do the opposite of those let it sit out put it in a pan that heats up with the meat so don't turn on the stove until the meat is in the pan as well as making sure the pan is big enough using the meat masher making sure it's evenly distributed letting it cool off, that is going to be the key to some better tasting meal prep. Please let me know if you try this and if your food turned out a lot better because I get it, it's no fun to eat dry food or tasteless food. So I hope that this helped you and I'll catch you in the next video.